Hi, I'm Ulrich Zebulon with Zebulon Aerospace. One of our customers came to us requesting a working probe that could attain Kerbin orbit. Our first attempt resulted in the Cheapster Mark 1A for only 11,570 Kerbits. This model was so successful that not only could it get a small probe into Kerbin orbit, it had enough Delta V to get a Dresden counter. This got our engineers thinking, how cheap can we make a craft that can get into orbit? After several iterations, our engineers settled on two possible choices, the Cheapster Mark 9 and Mark 10. Both models included a probe with second stage engine and used the RT-10 solid fuel booster for their primary stage. Our engineers knew that the window to get either probe into orbit would be small so a series of tests would be required. First, the main stage would have to be tuned for maximum performance. This was accomplished by running a series of tests with the throttle set at varying levels. This resulted in the following graphs that showed the cheap student Mark 9 had a clear advantage by achieving an apolapse 45 kilometers higher than the Mark 10 with the throttle set at 25%. Amazingly, the weight difference between the two models was only 140 pounds. Further tests showed the Mark 10 could never achieve orbit, thus putting it out of the running. With the window to reach orbit so small, the next step was to find out what altitude should the turn maneuver begin. After another series of tests, the window was set at between 6400 and 9300 meters, with 6800 being the optimal. This resulted in an orbit around 72 kilometers with 80 delta V remaining. From our research, the Cheapster Mark 9 is the most inexpensive way into orbit. Now I know some of you are asking, yeah, you can get into orbit, but what good is it? This got our engineers thinking, so they came up with a model that includes a science pack, the Cheapster Mark 9S. The 9S includes a thermometer, a gravioli detector, along with a commutron and battery to send the information back. Further tests show that if you made the turn maneuver at 7200 meters, the Mark 9S could achieve orbit at 45 degree inclination, thus crossing most of Kerbin's biomes. Here at Zebulon Aerospace, we are pushing the limits of aerospace engineering because if anything is worth doing, it's worth overdoing. If you are interested in owning this or any of our other fine craft, try visiting one of our excellent dealers conveniently located around Kerbin or visit us at our webpage.